So we are just in a meeting at Paint Life Supply Co. Just a staff meeting, just going over some uh, daily information, our Monday meeting that we have, um, have and we got a call from oldest daughter, Brooke, who said her car is leaking what she thinks is gasoline. So obviously if your car is leaking gasoline, which is um, extremely flammable, you don't want to be in the car and you don't want to continue driving it. So she parked it at a gas station and now I've got to drive up there and figure out it is, is it gas leaking? Uh, what do I need to do? Tow it to a mechanic. So here's, um, we're out here looking at the car and I'm going to show you something. I'm down here and what I noticed down here, water. So my daughter said, um, the vehicle was leaking gas, thought she was smelling gas, but you know, I checked the engine. There's nothing leaking in the engine. It's a, um, you know, warm, really humid day. And she's been running the air conditioner, put my hand down there, touched it, smelled it. Um, I'll get down here. And all, all this is, is water. It's water. So your air conditioner, it, um, creates condensation, you know, on humid days, on hot days. So, you know, no gasoline, it's not oil, it's not um, radiator fluid. All those would have different consistencies, could different smells. So it, um, it's definitely water. Check the engine, not leaking gasoline. She was probably smelling, you know, a vehicle in front of her driving that might've been leaking something or we're at the gas station. So you might be smelling gas from the gas station. So she's good to go, good to drive her car. So today was uh, kind of a, a good day. I, um, uh, for most of you that don't know, um, probably all of you, I've, you know, recently went in. Um, uh, I'm that age where uh, you got to have your prostate uh, tested, and um, you got to get uh, your blood tested. PSA levels were rising. Uh, they thought I might have cancer and prostate cancer went in and uh, had an MRI and um, something showed up that was, um, looked like it could be cancer. They um, had a high um, number associated with that MRI and obviously it scared the heck out of me for uh, quite a while. And um, it's never anything fun to go through um, psychologically, mentally. Um, I had to go through a biopsy, which, um, that wasn't the most pleasant thing to go through in my life either. Um, and you know, that was pretty scary, terrifying, knowing that somebody's gonna stick, you know, needles through my uh, rear end and take parts of my prostate out to be tested. And so um, that was a lot of stress. And went in today to get my results from that. And um, it didn't come back that I had, you know, cancer all over the place. Two of the uh, samples came back that were looked like pre-cancerous possibly and that I got to be monitored and so they said you know I don't have to go through cancer treatment right now that they just got to monitor it. It could be 5, 10, 15 years you know from now that I'll have to start being treated but um, you know any of you that are going through stuff like that um, not easy. I got a good friend, you know, that had prostate cancer, had his prostate removed just not that long ago. So, uh, it's not easy thinking, you know, your life could end, you know, um, in a short period of time, but, um, not the best news, not the worst news. Um, so that was the news of the day. So, um, my wife was happy. My older daughter, um, was happy to hear that news also. So, um, off to uh, take care of some business work today and um, at the office and um, you know and out shooting video. I'm back at the store Paint Life Supply Co in Boise, Idaho. Got um, to work on the computer, got some stuff to get done, uh, talk to some of the employees and we're in the back parking lot. So um, if you've never seen the back parking lot of Paint Life Supply Co or if you've never seen my truck, there's my truck. So um, right here, back of the store, 
Um, so it was interesting because somebody just said uh, the other day on, on my social media that the rumor was that um, I'm going out of business. So you can see I'm heading into the business, not going out of business. So um, here we go in Paint Life Supply Co. Well, it's now uh, six o'clock. I worked at the store all day today. No painting because didn't have anything to paint. Um, storm clouds and stuff were out. Was gonna do some caulking and stuff. Now I'm getting ready to go for a ride. Um, you know, riding, working out. It's been part of my life for since, I don't know, like um, freshman in high school. So typically I'm gonna ride about 20 miles right now. And I usually like ride, you know, uh, ride and then work out or work out and then ride. So we're gonna take off, head out and go for a 20, 20 mile ride. It's gonna take me about an hour and five minutes. There's my rims, paint life rims right there. Turnaround point, been ride now, uh, 41 minutes, 40 seconds. Dang, it's been a nasty headwind, storm clouds, but thankful to be riding anyways. Like I say, you know, my model is find excuses to do what you want to do and not excuses not to be able to do them. So I made it back, 19.5 mile ride and uh, hour and 14 minutes. There was some people kind of, uh, you know, nitpicking at my weight that I've gained a bunch of weight. I can't fit my pants, can't fit my shirts. <laughs> That's all kind of funny. But um, so what happened was, um, yeah, I did gain some weight, 25 pounds this last year. And no, not because of all the drugs you guys want to say that I'm using, but um, actually I got injured pretty bad competing in CrossFit multiple times. Couldn't do any cardio. Um, couldn't work out um, very much and um, really was a lack of cardio. And then I got burnt out from two years of competing CrossFit and I just really couldn't touch any cardio. And, and when you're not doing cardio and you're eating a lot of food, especially before you go to bed, you'll gain weight. So now it's wedding week. I'm trying to lose weight so I can fit in my suit. Um, their daughter's getting married, can't wait. And I think I've lost some weight, I know that. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to fit my suit. I'm here in my gym. So I've got a CrossFit gym that I train at, Luke trains at, McKenna trains at, and a bunch of other um, friends and family train at. So i um, got to do one, one more workout for the day. I'll probably do, um, so yesterday I trained, um, I think, I can't even remember. Uh, that shows you I'm getting old. Um, let's see, I'll probably, let's do uh, some, I'll just do some shoulder, shoulders today. So I'm going to train. My shoulders, um, and I do get some like weird questions. This is a wedding week, so my daughter's getting um, married this week, and um, I get some, I always get weird questions just from people, just in general, but somebody said um, today on one of my posts, you know, about wedding week, that um, do I believe in interracial marriage? So instead of telling you what I believe, I kind of like to just show you what I believe, you know, most of the time. And um, if you just go look at my family pictures, you'll know what I believe about interracial marriage. So I'm going to get working out and I don't know, do um, some shoulder presses, some side laterals and um, just a quick workout. Try to do just 30 minutes and that's going to be it. This is what Rainy does in the gym. This is her special time in the gym. Ready? Ready, go. 
bring it back. Gotta go in, do some paperwork, work on the computer, work on the web page, work on the store, finalize things. It's 9.30 and it's not even dark yet in Boise, which is one of the great things about summertime because you can get a whole lot done and it doesn't feel like it's nighttime at five o'clock.